get this off so you can access everything. You pretty much just pry it up. Okay, it's nice and seated in there. Let's grab the side. There you go. Some might be a little tougher, a little bit looser. It's nothing fancy, it's just these four little clips holding it in. And that's it. So yeah, feel free to pop it right on off. It ain't hurt nothing. Brand new, look at that, party. Well, yeah, it's time for another fun one. So the grommet, the bushing, whatever you want to call it, broke loose, so that's my actual selector. If I had the keys in the ignition, this would uh, freely slide back and forth, no problem, because this right here is the actual transmission cable. So I got to uh, dig that out and replace it with uh, another one. If I can get this thing to focus right. It didn't want to focus. So anyway, this is uh, in a little kit. It's great. This is kind of a uh, little universal kit. It's a uh, pedal and chip linkage bushing kit. So I got to figure out which one's going to fit in there and on the back side. Well, that one's gone. On the back side, it'll go through and everything will lock into place. Good times. Okay, so curveball. How to use a drill. A little inside ring it's got. For in here it would not fit. None of them did. So I had to drill it just a smidge. So if I can get it to focus, 1564. That's what you need. Uh I sized it with this was the leftover of the original. So I literally just, you know, back to back, see which one actually fit the ring. And when I found it, I dry fit it on the inside of that. Uh, the actual shifting rod uh, worked out really good. So I didn't squeeze it in yet. And then the little metal piece that sticks out of here, that's what I went ahead and shoved it on. Once that was seated, that, that plastic piece that you can barely see in there, that's when I put the actual, uh, I guess socket be the best way to put it right here. You can kind of see it, it's got a little bit of a wiggle to it, but that little, uh, little ring it's got on the inside is what's catching, so I didn't want to take it completely down. So it does have some wiggle, but it doesn't. It's not freely, that little uh, piece on the inside. So it's going to sit in there about that far. And then from here, that big ring you see, there forward, sits in there. And you can't actually see any of this, except for the outside edge. It's all you can see. And the way to actually get it to squeeze in place. Yep, that was pretty much the only thing I did. Just grabbed it, squeezed it on in, popped it into place. I mean, yeah, it's got a little bit of a wiggle to it, but it feels really solid. It shifts really good. So, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And we'll see uh, if, like the original here, it just pops off and breaks, but this stuff is like, I don't even really want to call it plastic at this point in time. 
Not sure what it is. It's more like uh, that jelly stuff that gets hardened. It's kind of what it feels like. Alright, well, hopefully that uh, helps you fix some more transmission stuff.